Billy, what do you feel opened up for you guys offensively, starting with that last drive of the first half? Yeah, I think, you know, we didn't really like get, we didn't deviate too much from the game plan. I think it was more just about, you know, we came in the first half and we knew we kind of took their best punch. Um, but we weren't, you know, Coach Gatta said we weren't going to deviate from the game plan. It was more just about executing a little bit better. Like we were, you know, we were one one man here, one man there on some plays. Um, you know, run game and pass game. Like I missed some throws in the first half. They were kind of getting after us, getting us in the long, you know, third downs. Obviously the crowd was up and going. You know, we had a few penalties that, that set us back. So I think we just more kind of just stayed calm into the game. Had to get, you know, obviously it's our first road game. UVA had a great crowd, um, a great stadium, great environment. So I think it was just more about just we had to just relax, relax ease into it. And, you know, we're not always going to get games where we can ease into it. But this is something that we got to learn where we're going to go play road games and it's going to be a night game and there's going to be, you know, 20, 30,000 people that are going to be against us. Um, so we got to, you know, I think this was a learning learning curve for us in terms of away games and we're going to go into hostile environments. So, you know, we can't afford the third down, you know, false starts, holding calls. And some of that's on me. Like I told Andre Roy, when we get on third down, you know, don't expect me to just clap the ball. I'm trying to gather intel and, you know, they, they have a hats off UVA. They have a great, you know, defense, but they had a really good third down package coming into this game that we were anticipating. So I'm trying to get, you know, a tell for myself so that I can, you know, feel the best to execute a third down, a crucial play of the game. But yeah, we just had to just stay calm, kind of feel some things out. And then once I think we saw the ball start moving on the ground a little bit, we were hitting some passes. Then we had, you know, we had all the confidence in the world to go out there and let it roll. The shot in the arm the defense gave you guys to the three and outs, the takeaways. Yep. How huge was that, especially? On that was big. Um, I think that first half, you know, we were kind of trying to get our feet underneath us. Um, defense held in the field goals twice, held into some punts, right? We were down 6 nothing with, I think, four minutes in the first half. And we go down there and score. So that was, I think, hats off to the defense. You know, they kept us in this game. The, the complimentary football that they allowed us to do, obviously, right, we, went, we were down 6 nothing. We went up, scored. I think we gave them like a minute 50 or something, um, or how much over time, right? Obviously, they went down, scored. Um, and then we knew the defense, you know, with, with B-dubs and the adjustments he was going to make in the second half, they were going to come out and do exactly what they did um, and shut him down. And then we just knew as an offense, we just had to keep chipping away. Um, and, you know, as, as Coach Locke said on Thursday, just keep pushing the rock up the hill, pushing the rock up the hill. And then, you know, after 60 minutes, we can look and see how far we've come. So I think the defense really helped us. Um, and I think in the second half, you saw us, you know, play some good complimentary football on, on all three phases. On the last touchdown drive, I believe it was five straight kind of quarterback sneaks. To, to close out the drive. Did it feel maybe good for you to kind of get back to that smash mouth, really, really kind of lay, lay down? I see you smiling a little bit. Yeah, no, uh, I mean, it feels good to win. feels good to score. I don't care if it's me or, or any 10 guys on that field. Um, I think, you know, the best part about that was we had success running the ball. We were driving down. I think that was a drive. I hit the wheel route to Dylan Wade down the sideline. Whatever mm -hmm. we knew, you know, a score here would, would really put – not put the game away, but put, you know, we, we'd have nine out of 10 nails in the coffin for, for UVA. So I think the best part about that was we called a timeout, mm -hmm. came to the sideline. I told Gas, I said, hey, let's run this. And he was like, that's exactly what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. So I think, you know, to, for us to, to be on the same page and see eye to eye. Um, and then obviously we had that long three minute TV timeout. And it was just me kind of sitting there preparing, knowing that, you know, we're, I think, eight, nine yards away. And it's, it's going to be four of my carries that's going to get us in there. Um, but the offense line did a great job. I think, you know, we, we really emphasized that all week um, in our team run and just being able to run the ball. And, you know, in the short guarded situations, you know, 99% of the people in the stadium knew where we were running the ball. Um, and it's just about going out there and out executing people. So it felt good. Um, and more, more importantly, just felt good, you know, to, to put one in there to kind of put the game away and, you know, do it in the fashion that we did on the road. And when you kind of go over go over to guys and say this is, this is what I think, and then he backs you up, how much kind of belief uh, does that ha help kind of your quarterbacking, knowing that you you're not really judged in a sense that this could be the back leg? Oh, this is, this is what I'm thinking. Just having that camaraderie with the coaching staff. Yeah, yeah. I think you know he's going into his full second season here. Um, obviously, right. I didn't start last year besides the bowl game, but I think, you know, just me being a backup last year and even this year, right, I've always been in tune. Like, I've always trained myself like I'm the starter. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, when you're with a coach for, you know, a few seasons, you kind of get a feel, and he knows what I like. I know what he likes. Um, so, there were times in practice where I'll walk up and be like, you hanging this? And he's like, let's roll. Um, and that was one of those cases. So, it gave us all the confidence in the world. He gave me a hug and a big, you know, fist bump, and we shared a good moment multiple times, but I think that was just, you know, that shows the, the work that we put in Monday through Friday to, to have the confidence in each other. Right, and, and he said before the game, trust him. And you know, he's he's going to put us in the best position, and it's our job to go out there and execute it. So that was that was a good moment, um, and it, you know, it was even better that we were go out there, go out there and execute it, and, and put the game away. Time for two more. Why do you think Ty Felton has blossomed into you know a, a legit star receiver? Yeah, I think I think the biggest thing with him is he's just kept. 
he's been the same guy ever since he got here, right? Obviously, I didn't come here my freshman year, um, but I, I've known him since, obviously, as you all found out, they showed you know a video of me throwing him an interception in high school, mm. I was told. Um, so I've known Ty a long time, and, and the, the best thing about him is how persistent he's been. Where you know he know he he knew he had to wait his turn, play special teams. You know had a couple of catches this freshman year versus Penn State here and there, and I think the biggest thing for him is he just kept pushing, kept pushing, kept pushing, and now you know the golden opportunity is in front of him. And I think the best thing that that he'll tell you that he's he's fixed or he's gotten better at throughout the offseason is his mental game, knowing that right physically he's gonna run by whoever wants to, whoever lines up in front of him, no matter if he's eight yards off or two yards off, he's gonna run by the guy. Physically he has it all, but mentally he's been better about you know handling stuff the right way and having a good mentality, knowing that. It's going to be tough, right? We had a tough game today. We didn't, we didn't do, you know, we were stalemated in the first quarter offensively. Couldn't get, couldn't get much going. But Ty, you know, he he manifests things. He's good on this mental game, and and you know, mental, the mental aspect of this game is probably just as much, if not more, important, you know, than the physical and harder to to kind of really craft and get down. Um, so that's just been the the two things that I take away: the persistence he's had throughout his career, and then you know, sharpening his mental skills because he's as physically gifted as they come, but he's really, you know, got his head on straight this year and knows that it's going to be a long season and he's just trying to get better one day at a time. And you obviously see the results he's able to have for himself out there on Saturday. So I think it's worked out well for him. Can you talk about how difficult it is and how technical you have to be? Uh, you talk about the wheel route, and then there was also the throw to Caden Prather where you take two steps, throw the ball, the ball lands three or four seconds later. You could have been on the bench by then. Yeah. And it hits him right in the hands. How long does it take to build that up? And to build a trust with the receiver to throw the ball that far in advance, knowing where they're going to be. Yeah, I think the the biggest thing, right, that that I've had that's allowed me to have confidence throughout this whole year is just how I go about my practice skills, right? Coach Locks, he walked up to me in pregame warmups. Obviously, I'm from Virginia. I'm you know playing at Virginia. There, I went to a high school with a bunch of people, you know, here on the team, whatever. Um, so he was like, "You nervous?" And I was like, "Not nah, nervous." Like, you know, in chapel today, they talked about how. Fear, the fear that we feel as humans, right, that's not something that God puts in. That's obviously the devil, and, and that's not, you know, something that we want to, you know, stay with, right? So Coach, so Coach Loss kind of made that comment, and it kind of made me laugh. Like, something we talked about in chapel, but two is we do this things, we do this stuff Monday through Thursday, right? And, and Wednesday, you know, Coach Locks talked about it on Thursday, you know, when we, when we met as an offense, we hit all those deep shots. The post, guarantee, you know, I'm going to give Caden Prather one more foot, and he's going to, you know, make the catch. We're going to get on that stuff. We've had all that timing, uh, and it just goes about to, you know, how hard our practices are. The practices are harder than the games, and they do that for a reason. Um, so, you know, we'll, we'll stay after practice Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to get that timing down if we have to so that when we come out here and, and you know, the, the lights are bright and there's thousands of people here, and it's, we're on Jones Hill House, you know, right there by Lot C doing our thing. Um, so it feels good. It felt really good to get him one. You know, he's a very hardworking kid, you know, one of the, you know, super talented kids on our team. Um, and, you know, one of the leaders in that room. So it felt good to get him one going that, you know, he can create some momentum that will help him throughout the season. But I think we just, you know, credit to him and on how he practices and the coaches on, you know, the plan they set up for us to practice. All right, thanks, Billy.